Well, well, well. Update 43 has finally arrived, and there are a lot of massive changes to the game. We got a new hero and boss rush game mode, which I'm sure everyone has heard to death about already. So I'm just going to go through the balance changes. To get this out of the way, a lot of suboptimal starting towers got their base costs reworked. Boomer got away with a price buff and zero nerfs. Wizard, Tack, Buck, and Engie all got their price moved to higher upgrades, while Ninja became an absolute clusterfuck. It will be interesting to see the new chimp starts that will come out of this, but I have to wait until these changes settle. Now for the regular changes, Juggernaut's knockback got increased, and Super Monkey Fan Club's price was decreased. Moab Dom, Glaive Lord, and Balloon Crush got some mediocre buffs. Bomb Blitz now doesn't suck as much. One person will be happy about that. For the people who do races, Maelstrom got its damage increase at the cost of Pierce. And all Glue Gunner Pass got some... interesting changes. The Balloon Solver's Pierce got reduced because it was... overkill. Splatter got its price and stats tweaked to make it a triple figure upgrade. Glue Storm got smoked into oblivion. And Relentless got its price increased. Moving to military, Sniper's Shrapnel got some interesting buffs. Reactor and Energizer are still getting some weird damage increases, but at least the Paragon's passive was improved. Goliath got some of its damage moved away from Micro. Artillery Battery's power was noticed and got nerfed. And Comanche got nerfed. I mean, stats shuffled again. The base damage of the Mini Heli's attacks were buffed to counteract the Geraldo nerfs and the Moab damage bonuses were swapped with ceramic ones. In the Magic class, Ninja Kiwi continues its chain of weird middle path wizard changes. The anti Bloon is recovering from recent nerfs, Legend of the Night got its free play scapegoat capped, and Druid's life based abilities got changed. And for the support sector, Spike Storm got nerfed just to make the bottom cross path look better, NG Sentry is now spawned in usable locations, and the Century Champagne got its alcohol poisoning increased. Monkey Wall Street got its price, range, and life production increased. Monkeyopolis got nerfed yet again. And the Beast Handler, Jesus Christ! Tier 1s to 3 got their price decreased. Great White's damage got buffed. Golden Eagle and Condor got some pierce changes. Base placement locations were changed. And the movement cooldown was buffed. Finally, for heroes, Quincy's Rapid Shot uptime got streamlined into two upgrades. Oban's level 8 now gives camo detection to nearby druids. He still can't see them though. Ben's early game got crippled even more, and Gerardo got some of his items buffed, at the cost of some of his more versatile ones. But otherwise, that is update 43. If you enjoyed the video, it will help me out a lot if you hit like and subscribe. But otherwise, I'll see you all in the next video.